All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Weiss Academy. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been pretty busy with work and other games that I've been playing, so I haven't had time to upload lately. But I do have some videos planned that I hope to push out within the next week. Um, today here we have a show match. Uh, I'm not playing in this one. This is between two of, two of my friends. Um, they're playing uh, Attack on Titan decks, both playing the 8 pads build, but there are some differences between them still. Um, let's see, the player on the right here is going first, clocks a Pat's Climax. I think that's the because a Clock Swap Bomb that also lets you rearrange top two cards in the deck. So he's gonna attack with it and pass turn here. Alright, let's see how the player on the left responds. Okay, they're gonna play down the Blue Level Zone Titan, checks top card, sees it is a Soul Trigger. About what to do here. Can he answer the bomb? Not really. Gonna play down two. The red level zero at the back lets him rest two cards to give a character auto reverse blind stock. So he's gonna reverse the bomb, get a free stock, and the bomb's gonna take out the level zero titan there. So passing back to the player on the right. Okay, he will play down the drop search. I believe it gets plus one soul in the middle slot. Uh, searching for his level 1 combo, a good choice I would say. He's got another Climax from hand, so he seems pretty flooded with the Climaxes there. Um, hopefully his compression is not too bad, otherwise it's gonna eat some damage later on. Does he have any other zeros to play? Check his waiting room. Oh, plays down that level 0, builds 3. It's another climax. Triggers a pants? That's so many climax. So, um, alright. So, trigger pants first card. Pretty unfortunate. Could be a bit harder to pay out. A lot of times when I trigger a climax on the first one, I don't even think I bother paying it out, honestly. You go neg stock so much. Very tempted always to just leave it in there once the first one, but obviously it depends on the game state. Uh, the player on the left doesn't have much to do. Just decides to attack once by pushing up both zeros at the back. Also hits a pads trigger, uh, does have a target for it. So one thing that could be cool in this deck is that when you mulligan the start of the game to always discard a climax, because you are playing 8 pants, uh, it's pretty likely to hit triggers to get them back. So that's maybe one tip that would be helpful for when playing the deck. Alright, the, the player on the right, I believe he's deciding on what to clock. Thinking about what to do here. Oh, he already clocked, sorry. Um, uh, so he's just playing down his cards. Alright. Both players are still um, level. Zero, so nothing much going on, just kind of swing back and forth. Pretty elongated zero game, I would say. Gotta choose to. Uh, oh, pay two free fresh. So he's gonna shuffle back his deck. He was a lot of CXs out, and he could pay out the climax that was stuck in the first stock as well. So, not a bad choice, I'd say. Uh, he can get some stock back for level 1, so still has some time. <laughs> the attack on time player on the left, Castling twice unfortunately. I think he wants to hit level 1. Um, so, thinking about paying 3 to Encore his 0, is he gonna do it? Yeah, he's gonna pay 3 to Encore to 0. Seems like he has very few playable cards, and he's not hitting level 1, so... <clears throat> it's gonna be a bit rough. Did he draw anything to play? No, we're just gonna play Climax to get out of hand, otherwise I think he'd be over hand size since he hasn't played any cards. So rough start to the game for the AOT player on the left. The player on the right's gonna hit level one, still has that zero on board. Okay, another climax, so why you with climax is good, but it's fine to clock the climax here, I think. Uh, since you just refreshed, you're not gonna refresh anytime soon until you hit level two probably. 
So it's not like that thing's gonna get stuck in there. You'll go back to the waiting room when you level up. Um, also draws his own uh, tap to fly stock. Gonna give it to the 1 0 Rainer combo, of course. Uh, I'll attack top 4 for two LD or Titan characters, I think. Uh, so you have to discard one, but you get two cards back. Uh, he's gonna decide to stop at just the two characters that he can grab, I think. Oh, sorry, you don't grab a top, top deck. Uh, I'm getting it mixed up. The Rainer combo is uh, you mill two. And then you salvage two characters that's level um, X or lower. X equals the total number you build. So think of something like the Kirito combo from uh, Sword Art. Alright, ooh, big crit. So lots of soul damage, already pushing the opponent on the left uh, to level 2. And he still has one attack left. Gets another salvage, salvages two. Swing for two here. Pushes the player on the left to 2 2. That was a huge momentum swing. Let's see if the player on the left can recover from that. Gonna clock draw two. Very little cards left in deck. Does he have his own combo? He has triple combos. So that's good at least. And if he can play with it, uh, gonna play down. I believe that's a Rainer Brainstorm. Okay, nothing else to play, so gonna slam down the climax. Triple combo, pretty solid, I would say. Um, is he discarding? So another character, mill two. Good for salvage two. I mean, at this point, his waiting room is so full, he can grab pretty much everything that he wants. Trigger the clean. Pushing some damage back, so that's good. He is kind of on the back foot here. Um, another two clean mills. Set up for level 3 here. Yeah, so grabs one of the level 3 combo just in case, since he is pretty close to level 3. Might want to get ready for that. Uh, the damage is sticking, so that's good. Um, he's recovering some of it. Refreshing the deck, taking the penalty. Gonna go for another combo. Builds up the pads, trigger. Ooh, okay. Still has enough characters to salvage them. So hits all three swings. So both players are level two. AOT player on the left is still a little bit behind, but it's not an unrecoverable position. Um, if he castles well this turn and he can survive for another two turns, I think. He may be able to push the game back in his favor. Claw drawing two. So what's the play here? Gonna use the drop search again. What's the search target? Oh, it's the air and early play. Okay, so he's gonna use the air and early play. So the air and, uh, you can play at level two if you have four more other, I believe, and on play, you can heal one, and it's also 11k on turn, and when you reverse your opponent's character, you can stock bomb it. So, quite a good removal effect. Uh, but does require you to play yellow in the LD and 8 pads deck, which is mostly blue. So maybe the colors are a bit awkward. I'm not too sure how the deck works. Um, I believe both these players are still testing out the deck since it is early. The set just recently released. Alright, gonna push out his back row Armin. Do you have anything else to play? Ah, not much else to play, just the Aaron. Um, so he gets the one heal. But this does mean you can't really answer the level 1s. Those can provide uh, a lot of value over the course of multiple turns. Gonna give the blind stock effect to the Aaron early play, which is a good choice. I think slight misplay here. Um, I'm not sure of AOT's card pool if they play anti-change counters or not. 
but I think it's always worth playing around it by attacking with the level 3 first. Right, attack order doesn't really matter here, so you might as well attack with the level 3 first in case they have that anti cheat backup. Alright. Oh, uh, we've got to cancel the damage here. Okay, so the left player still stay alive, um, still staying at level 2 here. So this means he does get a chance to catch up. After another brainstorm, draw two. What's he gonna go for? Okay, going to mill three. Build the Nolly Climax. Playing over. Checking his card there. Waiting room effect salvage, I believe. So choose the brainstorm here. Does he hit? So brainstorm five. Gets the salvage one. Salvage is no level 3 combo, so we're just getting ready for level 3 over here. Um, the level 3 combo is quite efficient. Uh, you only need um, 6 stock for 2 of it, so it's a pretty powerful card. Um, just gonna mill through the rest of the deck with the Rainer combo again. trigger, 3 damage, it does stick, Ooh. so this could be a big swing in tempo here. Soul Trigger, another 3 damage sticks. Okay, so the player on the right getting hit from 2 1 to level 3 here. He's like, uh, yeah, no climaxes left in deck. Sticks. Um, the Aaron EP does live, so he gets a free body for his next turn. But I don't know what's the plan here. Is he gonna try to play his finishers this turn? Okay, yeah. So down comes two of the finishers. So he still has three stock, which is enough to use both of them. So what the level three does is. Um, I believe it is pay 2 ditch 1 on attack, it will reveal top 9, and then you burn X twice, where X is the number of uh, pets club X's that you reveal. So you're going to attack with the uh, armor early play first, damage if he does. Get the soul trigger, it's going to be for 4. This is going to be very dangerous for the left player if this sticks. So let's see, let's see. He does have pretty good compression though, a lot of cards and clock, so pretty small deck going back. Takes the refresh, not the climax, always good to see. Cancels on two. Alright, okay, so he's gonna use his finisher here, pay two. Each one. Reveal the cards. Let's see how much he burns. sees one climax so burn one twice it's still not bad it does hit a CXL right so you can see even if you don't get good numbers uh, on the reveal as long as you show at least one it's still a pretty value combo uh, I mean 
even if you hit one, that's still uh, like the Gochi Usa combo from back then. You know, burn one, burn one. That was quite dangerous. I mean, it's not as good by today's standards, but um, if you hit out climaxes, it's pretty good. Ooh, unfortunately, there's another climax on the top there, so the swing doesn't stick. Um, so he has to hit some pretty good burns at both the attack to win here. Is he able to do so? Again, only reveals one climax so far. Yeah, so there's only one. So both the uh, one stick. But if he does hit the four, there is a chance that he can win. This is a lethal swing. Gonna trigger. No soul. So exact damage. Four here. Whoa! Cancel on four from the player on the left. So very lucky cancel from the AOT player. Gonna survive at 3-3. Three, three. Okay. And he has been setting up for his level 3 turn for the last uh, two turns. So he should have everything he needs. Um, it is pretty reliable to get the climax to hand since uh, you are playing an 8 pass deck. So you just need to find the characters mainly. Let's play down tilt the combo. He only had 6 stocks, so he's not gonna play another level 3, probably just another costless card. Yep. Uh, gonna give them one of them blind stock effect because might as well. Okay. Slams down the climax. Gonna use it on the first wing here. Let's see. How are his reveals? Showing 9. So, 2. Three. Uh, he showed 3. I couldn't quite see there, but it seems like he revealed 3. One of them cancelled, one of them stuck. Trigger for 4 damage, and it sticks. 